I'm out at Weston Commons, which is the new Lennar development here in Maple Grove on the north side, just north of 610 and Target in that area. Uh, so checking out the new townhomes here. Uh, I've got a uh, out of town buyer. It's kind of looking at uh, different neighborhoods. So doing a virtual showing here for them. Uh, I've got my little stabilizer thing that I use. Uh, so some of the time when I do these, I'll do like a either FaceTime or we'll jump on a Zoom call or a Google Meet. Uh, in this instance, they're busy, so I'm just going to run through it, record everything real quick, and then uh, send that to them via Dropbox. But I uh, figured I'd share this with you all in case you're interested. Uh, these are going to be starting in the 300,000, so let's go. All right, so the first unit we're going to look at here is on the end, uh, this nice little cola sack here. So this one's going to be listed at 389900 Typically we do like at a bit of a premium to be on the end. You're gonna get more lights with the, or more light with the windows there. So with Lennar, it's, they've got the everything's included plan. It's gonna include smart home features such as this ring doorbell, uh, the Schlag lock, which I'm a big fan of. It's a simple two story plan. You come in the front here and we've got a living area, an open concept carrying through towards the kitchen here. I'll grab some lights as I go. Oh, so we do have the nice white painted cabinets, a nice appliance package here with uh, a gas range. These are very nice uh, quartz countertops that are included on the island here. So going back towards the garage area, we've got utilities. No, nope, it's going to be a half bath here. So this will be your main floor bathroom. Very simple. And then here on our right, here we have the utilities. So the furnace. It uh, looks like we've got a humidifier built in, so that's a nice feature to have. All right, there. We've got an air exchange system. Uh, newer homes are going to have air exchange. Uh, so we've got a nice gas water heater. And then here's going to be uh, your water manifold and everything there. Uh, so very nice clean installation here. Uh, it's going to be underneath the stairs. Uh, so there shouldn't be too much noise for you. Uh, when we look in here, we should see a closet, yes. Another tech feature with the Lennar Everything's Included program is going to be that ring security system. So we've got a nice door sensor there. Uh, this is leading out to the garage. Uh, here we have the electrical is out in the garage. So if you're going to want to add uh, EV or anything, uh, that's going to be a very easy Insulation as uh, the panel is just right there, so they can uh, tap into that. Uh, we do have a spigot here in the garage if you want to wash your car, do any uh, gardening, and then it does look like there is a sprinkler system included with this unit. Uh, so we do have the MyQ as well. So if you download the app, you can control your uh, garage door remotely uh, via Wi Fi. So, very nice feature to have. This is a very typical, you know, builder gray color. A lot of very standard uh, options that have been selected in this unit. We're going to have that Wi-Fi controlled uh, Honeywell thermostat, as well as a sensor there detecting motion. Uh, this unit does have a walkout right on the side here uh, with a nice patio space. Uh, since it is an end unit here, looks like we're Looking out onto some sort of commercial building, I'm not quite sure what uh, is going in there. As far as location goes, we're just north of 610, uh, north of like Target, a lot of shopping area there, uh, Maple Grove Hospital, a nice area. Good schools up here, it's gonna be District 279, I believe. And so when we get up the stairs, we've got a nice loft space. Uh, one thing to notice here is we've got the uh, coaxial cables here for your cable as well as ethernet and so this is going to be great if you want to set up uh, your router up here maybe you have 
a desk or you're gonna do a nice um, like a second entertainment area uh, we do have another full bathroom up here so fiber surround again nice countertops same flooring that we saw downstairs uh, this unit is going to have three bedrooms so here is the first <laughs> interestingly we've got the uh, all the low voltage is going into this closet so you know if you were to make this into an office you could put the rack in there otherwise you know if it's going to be a bedroom just have your modem in there have your uh your router all that fun stuff and here we have that uh second bedroom now it's not pre-wired for a fan we've got a switch here that's just controlling that light and if you wanted to add a fan that would be additional whenever we build a house i always recommend you know putting that second switch in for the fan and making sure it's uh, rated to hold a fan just in case you want to add one in the future uh, so here in the master or the primary room we do have that extra switch and then the third switch i have to imagine is controlling an outlet which you, know, you could use for lamps what have you typically i just choose to uh, forego that switch but here we've got an additional window because again we are on the end unit and we're going to go head into the uh, primary bathroom here uh, so in the primary bathroom we've got a dual vanity and white cabinets again it's gonna be one of those walk-in showers and then here is uh, the primary closet so switch to a nice wide angle for you we'll run back through as we turn the lights off uh, and then we're going to head over to the next unit so if you enjoy the tour be sure to uh, drop a comment that motivates me to keep doing these when i'm out and about in between showings so i'm going to be headed up north here after this i've got a in-person showing for a buyer of mine uh, and then tomorrow I'm actually going to be back in Maple Grove here uh, looking at uh, some luxury homes in the million dollar range you know, for a buyer of ours that we picked up. So very excited about that. Uh, but let's head on over to the next unit. So here we have another end unit. That should be very similar to the last one we just looked at. Now this one's priced at $367,990. So we'll see what the differences are. We have that same smart home package from the last unit uh, this does have the lighter colors I'll grab lights as we go uh, so here we see we've got the coaxial ethernet set up here with the tech tube so you can mount your tv up high and then have your entertainment stuff down low there uh, light on either side this patio We got the AC cranked up in this one, so that is very nice. Uh, very similar feet, uh, finishes here in the kitchen. Nice backsplash. Same appliance package. Very nice island setup. Uh, so. Everything downstairs should be very similar to the previous one. Let's just run upstairs quick and see if we can find uh, what the difference might be uh, to justify the difference in price. A similar loft setup. Same bathroom. Same bedroom configuration. Same with the primary bath, bedroom bath. I do like uh, the floor finishes a little bit more in this one, actually. Uh, so, if I had to guess, I'd say there's a lot of premium here, uh, just because we're going to be looking at you know other units versus being that corner uh, next to the next to the model there. So, uh, same building 
but we are now dangling across. I'm going to zip over. I'd like to show you guys one of the interior units while I'm out here. I think that would be a good comparison. Looks like we're looking for 10565 and 10549. Uh, those ones are going to be priced at 396 and 406 respectively. I have to imagine they're probably also in units, but we'll go check them out. As you can see, a lot of construction going on here. We've got various phases. Uh, so on the right side there, we've got the uh, style where there's six units. And then uh, over here, it looks like we're going to have uh, four units. So it'll be front to back. All right, so the next two we're going to run through are going to be 10549 and unit on the left. And then on the right there, we've got 10565. I'm going to check to see if I can get into 10559, which would be uh, that second to the end there. Well, welcome to 10549 Weston Way. The Ring Doorbell Pro, the Schlag Lock, with the Ring Security System as well. As we walk in, we're greeted by these high ceilings, uh, double lofted with plenty of light, a lot of windows here, coat closet on my right, and very nice uh, vinyl flooring here. And then it carries into a nice family room area uh, with electric fireplace. There's a spot there above the fireplace to mount a TV. Uh, it does look like they've got a tech tube here. Uh, so then you'd be able to run all the cords down and put everything there in the corner for a nice clean look. I'm actually kind of surprised they added carpet here. I probably would have carried that same floor throughout. Uh, but we do have a nice open concept into the kitchen area. Uh, upgraded cabinetry the same appliance package that we've seen in the other units on my left here we've got a nice patio that's gonna be a walk out there uh, so these units are gonna be front to back and so a little bit of an upgrade from the ones across the street that we did look at on the main level here we've got a closet or a pantry So a little pantry there and then we have an additional space here that's uh, going to be uh, underneath the stairs for more of like a storage we've got the main uh, water coming in it looks like that's going to be for your fire suppression system so you wouldn't want to mess with that uh, but there's where the city water comes in and the water manifold uh, so And we have a bank of switches here controlling all the different lights. Uh, the thermostat that will connect through your system and can be controlled remotely. On my right, we're going to have a half bath. But first, let's check out the second coat closet here off the garage. And then here's that half bath. Uh, so same flooring. If it were me, I probably would have just carried that same floor from back there forward but alas I did not uh, here we have an interesting little bump uh, see that opening there uh, that allows room for the door to close and to get around but uh, you know, I can see using that as like a little coat a uh, little nook but uh, interesting cut in uh, so here in the garage we've got the MyQ system to control your garage door remotely the electrical panel is going to be over there in the corner so you could get it set up for electric vehicle charging. It wouldn't cost a ton of money. I always encourage people to put in the EV charging or an outlet for it uh, when you're building a home just because you know maybe you're going to purchase one in the future or when you go to sell the property uh, the next owner might want that and it's just a lot more affordable to do it at the time of purchase versus uh, after the fact and so we've got a set of stairs here the landing uh, and then one u unique feature here is that when we come up the stairs we've actually got our utilities upstairs which is fairly common in this style of townhome and so we've got our water heater our furnace with that april air humidifier the air exchange and then you're actually going to have your laundry in here as well uh, so your washer and dryer are going to go there. We've got the gas hookup. 
we've got our all of our coaxial type stuff is going to go in here it's actually locked uh, but that's where you're going to put your router your modem uh, so very nice utility space here centrally located uh, it's kind of buffered on either side so you wouldn't worry about the noise too much and we've got a shared full bathroom here and that will be for, to service the two bedrooms here on this side of the home uh, nice thing with having this end unit is we're getting two windows here in the corner uh, so a nice view out into the neighborhood uh, looking back towards the other bedroom you've got that here just one window and uh, nice sliding closets so good amount of space there you're gonna get that wire rack included again this house we've got very standard very neutral colors uh, that builder gray that we're seeing uh, here's a, a linen closet and right in the hallway off the near the bathroom and the bedroom so very conveniently located and walking into the primary bedroom here as I look to my left we've got the primary bath it's got a dual vanity a full shower no tub uh, the toilet's going to be here slightly behind the door uh, but not quite one of those knee bangers that you see sometimes so here we've got a good amount of light coming in and we've got uh, the coaxial cable ethernet there uh, there's no tech tube in place uh, but it wouldn't be difficult to mount your tv up there and then just run the wires uh, so here's the primary closet nice big walk-in closet a lot of space here very nice hey if you're enjoying these videos be sure to uh, subscribe i'm going to be continuing to do more of these i really appreciate the support and if you have any questions about new construction in maple grove or the surrounding area just give us a holler uh, my direct number is 612-7687 i'm happy to help out uh, with any real estate needs that you might have i'm licensed with remax results here in maple grove and we are looking at a lennar property here right now uh, one of the nation's largest builders uh, so this property is represented by lennar but i would be happy to represent you as the buyer uh, and if this isn't a good fit well, let's find one that is well, last up we've got a interior unit here uh, this is the style with the front to back uh, so as we walk in, if you look up, you've got that little space up there. So, living in a lot of natural light. Uh, you look down and see who's here. Uh, but I do really like the flooring. And we've got the open concept again with the kitchen here on the left with that nice patio outside. Uh, fireplace with the family room there. Uh, with this layout, actually, it's kind of tucked over in the corner a little bit better. Um, so you could put your couch, you know, kind of like an L-shaped couch or something here. And we've got uh, windows flanking the electric fireplace with that tech tube. Uh, so you can mount your TV there. A nice space. Uh, headed back towards the garage area. We've got a closet here on my left. That's going to be underneath the stairs. Uh, so a little bit of storage there. Uh, we've got a coat closet on my right the half bath on the main level uh, so very efficient and then uh, back here is going to head out to the garage uh, it's actually a little bit more open than the end unit uh, so that's nice of course we're losing the windows on the sides uh, but let's see how that plays out upstairs here with the bedrooms so Now we're shooting this in the middle of the day and the lights are not on up here but we've got a lot of natural light even with being an interior unit so i like that you've got those same two bedrooms you do lose one window but i actually think it works because now you've got more space to work with uh, for different configurations for your bed uh, so same bathroom that we saw previously nothing's changed there same with that utility space uh, we do have this interesting little cutout here. I suppose you could put a desk or something 
um, that's going to overlook the entryway. So we actually have French doors now for the primary bedroom. Uh, it's going to open up here with the bathroom actually is going to be on the left. Uh, so some lights. Uh, so here the toilet is actually tucked around the corner, which I think I like a little bit more. And we have a nice walk-in shower, dual vanity. And then we've got that nice big walk-in closet here. So a lot of space there. Well, there's certainly a reason that Lenore is the one of the no biggest builders in the U.S. Uh, they do quite a bit of volume. Uh, certainly here in the Northwest Metro, uh, Maple Grove and surrounding areas, they've been a big player for quite a while. My wife and I actually live in a Lennar home. Uh, we like that. I've got a lot of clients that have built with Lennar, uh, so we know the process very well. Oftentimes there's going to be some incentives available. Uh, so give us a holler. Let's talk about the different options, and if you want to take a look in person, you know where to find me.